it was just as mind blowing for me to discover that as a kid as it was to discover the Charmel sample from Cream or the Isaac Hayes sample from uh, Mine's Playing Tricks on Me by the yeah. Ghetto Boys. It was, mm -hmm. it was just like, dude, we can make anything out of anything. Yo, what's up, Rufio here. This is Just Blaze and you were watching Back and Forth on Noisy. What's the, um, what's, what's the best show you've ever played? As a, as a DJ. One of them happened accidentally at uh, the X Games, the previous X Games in Aspen. And it was just like this room packed, it's like lit green, and I was just rocking it, like just going on my oh. own tangent. And it just clicked for me, you know like, you know when, when it clicks? And the DJs before that, they were, they were doing their thing, but they wasn't doing their thing like me, you know right. what I mean? And I got off stage and I felt like, yo, like yeah, I love playing drums and I love making beats, but the way I feel right now is just like, it's undescribable. Well, you know what it is? That's what I always tell people when it comes to DJing, like, I can make tons of influential records sitting here in this environment. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing like being on that stage and being able to perform those records for people, yeah. play those records for people. So these records have come out of your brain. Mm -hmm. And now you're actually on stage getting to partake in the celebration of that music. The Jays played the Black Show, where we did Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. The moment that I dropped PSA, and the song had only been out for two weeks, mm -hmm and everybody in that arena knew every word. And as soon as he said, allow me to reintroduce myself, everybody went, I was just like, and I'm, I'm the DJ for the show. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, yeah, I remember that. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. But like, so, so where did you venture off from discovering the music and being a fan of it to actually wanting to take part? So um, I started playing drums at a really young age. My church? outlet, yeah, my, my outlet was church. I, I guess I kind of knew always that, that I had like this, gift for uh, for music right um, but I, I had no outlet for it until uh, you got to the church until I had to go to church and I was sitting in church like this and then the music came on and I was just like wow yeah um, for me it was it was kind of the same thing in terms of the drums from 10 years old to up until 2006 mm -hmm. never touched a drum set in between that but I kept having these dreams and every dream, I was playing the drums. Were you killing it or were you just kind of like? No, like in my dreams, I was <laughs> killing it. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend are racing through, uh, we're running from the men in black in, Japan, in China. So all of a sudden the train stops at a guitar center. And I get out and I'm like, we have to go here. And she's like, what? And I'm like, come on. That's every musician's thing. Yeah, and we get, and we go into the guitar center and all of a sudden, Quest Love is there. And I don't think I've ever told him this story. Pushed him off the drums, and I'm like, and I'm just murdering the drums. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the men in black come in with the guns into the guitar center, and they shoot. And that's when I woke up. And that, that was the third, the third dream in three days that I had about playing the drums. Mm -hmm. And I woke up the day and I said, I have to go by this drum set right now. <laughs> Two weeks later, show me what you got was out. Week after that, why you hate the game was out. Where that came from? That so that was V drums, and that was you on drums. Show me what you got is me and this dude Bam who did all the crazy rolls. Okay. Um, all right, so now I gotta give you uh, extra props. Thank you. So since then, all the records like you know, like Lord knows and all those records, that's just me getting busy on drum sets. <laughs> 